Claudio Paul Canigia is an former Argentine football player who played as forward or winger. Canigia played 50 times for the Argentine national team. He appeared in three World Cups, and was a member of both rival clubs River Plate and Boca Juniors. Canigia was known for his speed as a player and competed in athletics before his football career, competing in athletic tournaments at the provincial level. Running the 100 meters. At the 1990 FIFA World Cup, Canigia scored two key goals to help Argentina reach the final. In the opening game of the tournament against Cameroon, he was memorably fouled three times in a single dribble, the last taking him out and earning the Cameroonian a red card. In the second round match against Brazil, a pass by Diego Maradona put him through against goalkeeper Tafal, with Canigia dribbling past him and slotting the ball into the net to give Argentina victory. In the semi-final against Italy, he headed past goalkeeper Walter Zenger, the first goal Italy conceded in the tournament, sending the match into extra time as Argentina won on penalties. Having been booked against Italy, his second in the tournament, Canigia was suspended for the final against West Germany. Canigia scored two goals in the 1994 FIFA World Cup, both of them in the first round match against Nigeria, the first from a Gabriel Batistuta free kick rebound and second one from a free kick by Maradona, which Canigia finished by putting the ball in top right hand corner. As well as appearing for River Plate and Boca Juniors, his other clubs include Atalanta, Benfica, and Rangers. Club career at club level, Canigia played for River Plate, Hellas Verona, Atalanta, AS Roma, SL Benfica, Boca Juniors, Dundee and Rangers. He has become a club legend and cult hero at many of the clubs he has played at. Canigia got a 13-month ban for taking cocaine in 1993 and has a history of enjoying the high life. After his ban expired he joined Benfica on a year-long loan financed by the Pamela Dairy Company. Argentine media mogul Eduardo Ernacchian then acquired the rights to Canigia from AS Roma and Diego Maradona from racing club Di Avellaneda, loaning them to Boca Juniors in exchange for matches played on his television stations. At the completion of his one-year contract, Canigia's outspoken wife refused to return to Argentina and he was heavily linked with clubs in England. In September 1996 his mother committed suicide by jumping from the fifth floor of her building and Canigia did not play in the 1996 Euro 97 season. He returned to play for Boca in 1997 Euro 98 but his appearances were sporadic as he missed out on the 1998 World Cup squad. After another season of inactivity he rejoined Atalanta in Serie B but left after one season following a dispute with coach Giovanni Vavassiri. He then signed for Scottish club Dundee, managed by Ivano Bonetti whom he knew well from their time together in Italy. Quickly becoming Dundee's star player, he was then transferred to Rangers, becoming a fan's favourite at Ebrox, after scoring against arch-rivals Celtic in a cup final. In June 2012, he was one of several former professional footballers who agreed to join Wembley FC to play in their FA Cup campaign for the new season. Canigia and fellow former internationals Ray Parler, Martin Keown, Graham Lesso, Jaime Marino, Danny Diccio and Brian McBride, plus David Seaman and former England manager Terry Venables, came out of retirement to play for Wembley FC, who were featured in a television documentary as they endeavoured to help the club play at Wembley Stadium. On August 12, 2012 he appeared in a preliminary round of the FA Cup. Aged 45, he scored the first goal in a 3 Euro 2 win against Langford. International career, Canigia was a key player in both the 1990 and 1994 World Cups, but was not picked under the strict regime of coach Daniel Passarella for France 98. Canigia was capped 50 times for Argentina, scoring 16 goals. He played at the 1990 and 1994 World Cups, scoring four goals in eight matches. Contrary to popular belief and largely due to loose interpretation, Canigia was not a striker, but rather a playmaker forward. Throughout the Copa Armour copyright reca 1991, Canigia asserted his dominance and was arguably the most dynamic player. He scored two goals and made four assists in the tournament. He also helped Argentina win the 1992 Confederations Cup, 
in which he scored a goal in the final itself. Canigia is great friends with Argentine legend Diego Maradona. The duo once celebrated a goal with a kiss on the lips. Claudio's wife at that time, model Mariana Nanis, said, At times I believe Diego is in love with my husband. It must be the long hair and big muscles. 1990 World Cup At the 1990 World Cup, Canigia scored two key goals to help Argentina reach the final. He came off the bench in the inaugural match against Cameroon, memorably being fouled thrice in a single dribble as he carried the ball forward, the last, by Benjamin Massing earning the Cameroonian a straight red card. In the subsequent matches, Canigia was in the starting lineup. In the second round, Argentina faced Brazil, and with a score 0 a Euro 0 after 80 minutes, a pass by Diego Maradona left Canigia one-on-one -on -one against Brazilian goalkeeper Tafal. Canigia dribbled past him and scored on the empty goal, giving Argentina the victory and eliminating Brazil from the tournament in what was seen as a huge upset. The goal gave him legendary status among the Argentine fans for knocking out their chief rivals. Argentina then beat Yugoslavia on penalty kicks, advancing to semi-finals, where they played against Italy. The Italians had not conceded any goals in five matches, and were up on a Euro Zero at half-time. In the second half, Canigia headed a cross into the net of goalkeeper Walter Zenger, ending his record streak at 517 minutes without conceding a goal, and sending the match into extra time. After no change in the score, penalty kicks were taken, and Argentina won again through this method, advancing to the final. Canigia had been cautioned in the first round match against the Soviet Union, and then received another yellow card against Italy for deliberately handling the ball which earned him a suspension. He had to watch the final between his team and Germany from the stands, which Argentina lost 0-1. 1994 World Cup, Canigia scored two goals in the 1994 World Cup, both of them in the first round match against Nigeria, the first from a Gabriel Batistuta free-kick rebound and second one from a free-kick by Diego Maradona, which he finished, putting the ball in top right-hand corner. This was the last match in which Maradona would be involved with the national team. 2002 World Cup, after refusing to cut his long hair despite the rules of national coach Daniel Passarella, he was frozen out of the national team for a number of years. He made a brief comeback to the Marcelo Bielsa coached squad for the 2002 World Cup, but did not play. He received a red card for cursing at the referee from the bench in Argentina's last match against Sweden. Honours, River Plate, Primera División Cube den Argentina, 1985 a Euro 86, Copa Libertadores, 1986, Intercontinental Cup, 1986, Copa Interamericana, 1986, Atalanta BC, Serie B, 1999-00, AS Roma, Copa Italia, 1992 a Euro 93, Rangers, Scottish Premier League, 2002 a Euro 03. Scottish League Cup, 2002, 2003, Scottish Cup, 2002, Qatar SC, Prince Cup, 2003 Euro 04, International Honours, Copa Arma Copyright Rica, 1991, Confederations Cup, 1992, Artemio Franchi Trophy, 1993, FIFA World Cup, 1990, References External links Claudio Canigia at national-football-teams.com, short biography, profile at Argentine soccer, profile in bdfa.com.ar, Spanish, football factory profile.